Now a Target 12 consumer investigation, ambulance inspections. According to data we obtained from the Department of Health, an alarming number of emergency vehicles in Rhode Island aren't making the grade. Take a look at this. Since 2012, there have been 1,460 ambulance inspections. 41% of those had what the state calls a critical deficiency. Serious issues like missing equipment or expired medication. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell crunched the numbers. She's here now with what she's learned. There are 515 emergency vehicles in Rhode Island. Many of them struggle to pass inspection each year. But here in Warwick, the fleet has a good track record. The department tells me it's one of their priorities. They even have a position dedicated to it. Ambulances in Warwick make 12,000 runs each year. It's the busiest division in the fire department. Jason Umbenhauer is the chief of emergency medical services for the city. It's my job to make sure that the equipment's there, the equipment's working correctly. Uh, that way when these trucks roll out and they go to save somebody's life, that something catastrophic doesn't happen. That includes checking supplies. Is there enough medication? Has it expired? Crews are also responsible to check each vehicle at the beginning of each shift. When they use some, a piece of equipment or a piece of equipment expires, they make sure they get it replaced immediately. Then once every year, these vehicles are inspected by the Rhode Island Department of Health. Warwick's vehicles have one of the best track records in the state. But statewide, dozens of critical issues are discovered each year. We're most concerned about what we call critical deficiencies. So if you're missing a critical medication or your cardiac monitor and or defibrillator is not functional, um, you don't have any oxygen on the truck. Those are certainly considered to be critical deficiencies. Anytime a critical deficiency is found, the vehicle is pulled off the road until it's fixed. Inspectors also look for less serious problems. If you're missing some gauze or some band-aids or, you know, something uh, lower level, we'll give you some time to correct that deficiency. Target 12 come through five and a half years worth of statewide ambulance inspection data for both public and private vehicles. We discovered in 2012 about 39% of ambulances inspected had at least one critical deficiency. In 2013, that number jumped to 52%. By 2016, the number of ambulances with critical deficiencies was 30%. And this year through July, it's at 35 percent. The services are doing a much better job of, especially on the critical side, where we're starting to see those trickle down. But it's still nowhere close to the health department's stated goal, which was to get to a critical deficiency rate of just 5 percent by 2014. Do you think the 5 percent critical deficiency rate is realistic? Within a few years. Um, not right now. I said we were aggressive in identifying that number. I said, I think it's a good goal, you know, moving forward. The health department has never levied any fines for deficiencies, but there is a charge for reinspection for any private service that's discovered to have four or more critical deficiencies. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. New details now on a Target 12 consumer investigation, ambulance inspections. On Eyewitness News at 5, we showed you an alarming number of emergency vehicles in Rhode Island are failing inspections for what the state calls critical deficiencies. And those are serious issues like missing equipment or expired medication on board. New at 6, Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell reveals how the state plans to reduce those issues. Just one critical deficiency is enough to get an ambulance pulled off the road immediately. In the years of data we reviewed, the worst inspection we found had nine on a single vehicle. <sighs> hundreds of emergency vehicles, hundreds of state inspections each year. While the ambulance services check the equipment themselves, you know, mostly on a daily basis, we provide that that backup. Since 2012, there have been 1,460 ambulance inspections. 41% of those had what the state calls a critical deficiency. And it was fairly high. We made an aggressive goal uh, to get that down to around 5%. What's the plan to get to that? Increasing the number of SWAT inspections. We're also exploring doing some stuff electronically and having the services self-report you know, uh, more often to us. Jason Rhodes is the chief of emergency medical services for the Rhode Island Department of Health. He says the increased spot inspections would happen at hospitals. One thing uh, we in the past we've done is done some spot inspections, ensuring that all five point restraints on the stretcher are secured. 
So we'll look at specific things like that. When Target 12 went through five and a half years worth of data, we discovered Warwick has one of the best inspection track records in the state. We have uh, 17 vehicles. So we went there and talked with the city's chief of emergency medical services to find out why. A uh, big one part of it is the fact that uh, this position exists in the Warwick Fire Department. Uh, like I said, a lot of departments don't uh, don't think it's serious enough that they need to hire somebody full time. Jason Umbenhauer admits even his fleet has had some minor blemishes on its inspection reports. But every once in a while, a truck will come in that a light will go out that day, and we didn't obviously foresee that. Uh, but we'd have never had any critical uh, deficiencies where a, a serious piece of equipment was either missing, broken, or expired. Which is the state's ultimate goal for all emergency vehicles, public and private. You never know when something's going to happen. Stuff needs to be on the truck, it needs to be ready to go, and you need to know how to use it. There are 515 emergency vehicles in Rhode Island. There's only one state inspector. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.